Hi everybody, I'm Sarah. Welcome to the Big Blue House Homestead. Standing with my Kentucky Wonder Pole Beans. Not only are they like getting really tall on my arch here, on my trellis, but they're starting to finally set all their little blossoms. So, I should be getting beans off these soon, hopefully. Uh, other bean plants are doing excellent. Even though the deer came through, again, um, got hoof prints in spots and places, but they didn't really do a lot of damage. They just went right back to the Swiss chard. I don't know why they like it so much. Most people don't even grow it or love it. I absolutely want a big ginormous plate of Swiss chard, but I guess I'm just not going to get it this year. I don't know. Thought about netting it, you know, covering it all up, but I'm afraid if I do, then they're going to find all the other stuff and then they're going to start eating everything and then I'm not going to have anything in my garden. Oh well. Well, today's going to be one of those days where I have to do an inspection and a check on all of my plants. Well, not all of my plants, but all of my squash plants. That's what the video's purpose is, is to talk about the squash plants. Now, squash bugs come through and they don't do damage right away. What does the damage is those little eggs they leave behind. Once those hatch, then you end up with like all these little babies and those babies then start eating and burrowing into your squash and then the next thing you know, your plants are dead. Damaged, ruined, gone, all of that. So, in the past few years that I've been gardening here, I don't have a tremendous amount of squash bugs that come through but I have enough to actually cause some issues. So I try to be very proactive, especially as an organic gardener. When you're doing organic, you can't throw down all the pesticides. You can't do things of that nature. The only things that you can use are organic pesticides, which are, you know, basically soap and water. I use the Dr. Bonner soap a lot. Uh, it's one of my favorites, especially the peppermint oil one because of the peppermint scent leaves on the, the plants and it kind of deters the bugs. But I use neem oil as well, but that doesn't take care of eggs. I mean, I'm sorry, but the eggs are thick enough. They're not going to penetrate with the, the you know, essential poisons that you're putting on. And so then the bug, bugs still come out and you just end up with lots and lots of bugs. But after learning, not only do I squish them on the plant to get rid of the eggs, I figured out that my number one tool is this little thing on my finger. It's actually what you would purchase as an office supply to flip your papers. It's a finger grip. All right, so it's just this little finger grip. And I apologize, I've got stained fingers from tomato tar. Um, I was pruning some tomatoes this morning, some leaves touching the ground and I've got little spots, but oh well. But what it is, it's a finger grip. I'm not sure if it's showing up on camera really well, but it's very bumpy. It almost fits like a thimble and it's rubber, I mean, just basic rubber, um, little like rubber thimble, and it has a lot of grippies on it, little bumps so that you can grab your papers and turn them. Well, I have some for my thumb. I just can't find it because I like to use two, but they come in different sizes. So if you go to look, just go to wherever they sell office supplies and it's over usually in your standard office supply area where you're going to find your papers, your pencils and your erasers, like notebook paper things like that it's over in, in that area if not just ask somebody and they'll help you but yeah it's just a little finger grip to turn pages but those little bumps work really well if you get those eggs just right it knocks them all off and squishes them even better than just using your fingers so today we're going to inspect some of these squash plants chickens are going crazy but today we're going to inspect all these squash plants because I have to be very proactive to make sure I don't have these issues. And I recommend that you do the same if you're going squash. Just get out there and look every day. I mean, I'll show you how easy it is to find the eggs and how easy it is to knock them off. Just keep up with it because if not, you're going to end up with an infestation and it's not fun. So I've got my basket and my pruners as well because it rained and I know I have a ton of squash I've got to pick today. So harvesting squash and picking off those little eggs. That's my goal today. Let's go get it done. Yeah, so I'm ready to do some squash and check out Chi Chi. I don't know what he's thinking. Chi Chi. He's not a bird. He's a chicken. Okay, perfect example why you need to check your plants. You can see on these leaves over here, 
how they're getting eaten. Well, I just found this really pretty ladybug looking bug, but it's not a ladybug. So I squished it. And that's what's came through and laced up a lot of these plants. Well, unfortunately, see all those eggs? It laid its eggs. Those are not squash bug eggs. Those are just from that potato beetle, I think is what they're called. So I'm going to go ahead and rub those off. Um, these are squash bug eggs. And they're actually getting pretty close to hatching. You can tell by the way that they change. They go from a copper tone to kind of a brown to kind of a white. So if you just kind of glance through on your plants, see? More eggs. And you see where these eggs are at? Just go ahead and squish them off. Oh, look at that. This one has been busy. He's laying eggs everywhere on this plant. Oh, check that out. Now I got a bug infestation right there, and those are all babies. Yep, so I'm checking every leaf now because this plant is just infested. And I'll get out and I'll spray. It's just been raining, and I can't spray during the rain. Squash bugs. All right, so I'm just going to. Rub them back and forth. I did damage my plant a little bit, but that's not a big deal. It will pull itself through. But it's not going to if it's getting eaten. So I don't see too much else going on there. I'm going to check this big plant back here. Okay, so clearly you can see eggs on this plant. And I'm just going to rub them all and squish them. Go back through and check the bottoms of all of my leaves just to make sure nothing else is there. I did find a clutch that had already hatched. I don't know if you call bug eggs clutches, but yeah, a whole little group that had already hatched. Um, so yeah, squish those up immediately. And see? More. Every plant just is filled with bugs. Bug eggs, bugs, not fun. Another big patch. And even more. And even more. Oh, and guess what? Even more. Yeah. Got a lot of squash. I got a lot of squash, and I squashed a lot of squash bugs, so doing good, I guess. But yeah, definitely, when you grow squash, you have to check every day. They will come through and lay eggs, lay eggs, lay eggs. Now, I showed you that last plant that had like five leaves that were just, you know, infested, and that was about 15 to 20 eggs a piece. Start multiplying that. And then you think I have 70 squash plants in my garden. It's a lot of squash bugs. It's way too many. So I have to keep it combated as best as I can and not have to worry about coming through and using chemical sprays and things of that nature. Organic gardening at its best though. Just a little finger grip, good old fingers, pruning shears just to smash the bigger bugs and just get it all done. So. I've only done like a third of my squash plants. <laughs> I'm gonna get to work and get the rest done. I did harvest all the squash that's available today. And in, in reality, I'm getting this about every day. Um, it's gonna slow down a little bit for me this week because of the rain. There's not as many pollinators out. Uh, so I gotta figure out how to start doing some stuff with squash. I got some recipes I'll share and then I'm gonna start freezing and blanching and 
yeah, lots of squash. All right, guys. Well, thank you. I'm already tired. I wish there was sunshine, but it's just nothing but gloom. And I'm already tired. And I just want to go lay down for a little bit and relax and then come back out and squash more bugs. <laughs> but I thank you for stopping by. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.